What's up guys, J-Man, and for this month's personal video, I thought I'd respond to some more comments, this time on my Martha interpretation video. Uh, but unlike last time, where I responded to certain criticisms, this time I'm actually going to be bringing up certain comments that have actually brought up some pretty interesting stuff and that I feel like are worth talking about. So, here we go. This is my response to comments on my Martha video. So, Planet G, who I believe was the very first commenter on the video, actually brings up an interesting point how you kind of have to link everything together that Snyder shows us, not just in BVS, but also in his movies in general, and you kind of have to kind of be in his head a lot, and how his talents as a director is kind of taken for granted because he kind of dabbles in the, uh, a genre of film that's normally meant for adolescents and not really for adults. That's, that's really an interesting point, and I, I really do agree with that. 214SC Jude brings up a pretty interesting point how Bruce kind of displays the typical symptoms of someone with PTSD, which is also a pretty good point. His trouble sleeping, his problems with drugs and alcohol, uh, his nightmares that he has, and of course his ability to actually blame himself for his traumatic experience that he went through for not being able to stop it. That th Those are the typical symptoms of someone with PTSD, and that's actually a pretty good point as well. Wandering Star of Alatar says that he thinks that it's actually theory number three because it's the most sophisticated in terms of the storytelling and also that, you know, it would make sense if Superman knew about Bruce's past because he, you can tell he kind of pulls his punches a lot throughout some of the fight. And also, he points out that there's maybe an intentional Rashomon effect going on in the fight, which is, which is a pretty interesting point as well. Jaguar2117 tries to point out that at 952, yes, Lois was not supposed to know what Bruce was referring to when he said, why did you say that name? That's what I thought as well. But then if you listen closely, Lois enters the scene when Batman says Martha. This time, Martha doesn't sound audible. Why did you say that name? Hmm, why is it not audible, though? I could clearly hear it, and you could clearly hear it, and, and also, I was kind of referring to in the video about when Clark says the word Martha, not when Bruce does, so he kind of got things a little mixed up there, but good paying attention. Mount Nick tries to point out that at 7.06, Superman calls out the name of his mother because he was losing time with Batman. He goes directly to the point so Batman can finally listen to him. Superman says the name again because that's what got Batman's curiosity and also because he's an alien. Mmm, I kind of think you're on the right track there, but you're not quite at the station yet. It is true that... Superman was losing time with Batman. However, I think he calls out the name again because it's his kind of his final act of desperation. And finally, John Wonder brings up the really interesting point about how it was actually Lois that stopped Batman from killing Superman, not the name Martha. In fact, I think that's so good of a point that I kind of wish I explained it further in my video. I mean, I I kind of mentioned it a little bit in my second theory, but it's it's definitely worth expounding upon. So we all know it was not the name Martha that stopped Batman from killing Superman. It wasn't the fact that their mothers have the same name that stopped him from killing Superman. It was indeed Lois Lane. And here's how. If anything, the name Martha actually angers Bruce even further. It makes him actually want to do it even more. However, when Lois comes in and she throws herself on top of Clark's body and actually says it's his mother's name, that is what stops him, because it wasn't the name Martha, it was the fact that she knows that his mother's name is Martha. That is what stops Batman from killing Superman, and plus, the image that he sees with Lois throwing herself on his body. The fact that a human woman actually loves Superman as a human is what stops Batman from killing him. Personal relationships are what make us human. That's what the scene is trying to say, that's what one of the themes of the movie, and that is why I personally love Batman v Superman. So that was pretty much all the comments that I wanted to mention to you guys, so please keep them coming in, give me more theories and guesses about how you personally view the scene. I love to hear people's interpretations. So for my next month's regular video, I think, you know, with the release of the recent Blominator dank fart that just came out, uh, I think I'll actually do a video about a Terminator film that, in my opinion, is really the best sequel to Terminator 2, so keep on the lookout for that. Until then, like, comment, subscribe to the J-Man, follow me on all my social media stuff, and I'll see you guys next month.